Today I want to go over one of the most asked questions I get on my channel and that is, Steve, how in the world do I get a good deal or a better deal or even get a Sony PVM or any type of high-end CRT monitor? So today I want to go through the top five ways I think that you should be able to find a CRT and probably your best route to uh, acquiring that professional video monitor of your dreams. If you're new to my channel, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because I constantly cover new things in the retro tech world from video games to machines to old tech to all kinds of stuff. So please go back and check some of the old videos and welcome to the channel. All right, so let's get started. Today, again, I want to talk about the top five ways for you to get a Sony CRT or PVM or high-end monitor or whatever kind of high-end CRT that you may be looking for. The CRT world has changed a lot in the last couple of years. This is 2018. We're at the end of the year, almost 2019. So as time goes on, the supply of these monitors continues to uh, go down, of course, because more people are looking for them now. And every year, more of them die out or are destroyed by poor shipping and handling practices. Okay, so let's get started with the list. Now, please note that I will have links for as many of these in the description of this video, links directly to these places, so you can check them out yourself. The first and probably number one place for a lot of people is Reddit, and that's a subreddit for CRT gaming. I gotta give those guys a great shout out for what they do there. It's a good information uh, page, a lot of people sharing good wealth, but one of the best things they do is there's a current CRT for sale listing page on there and they have up-to-date listings all over the world of people that are like you, retro video gamers or retro video enthusiasts that want to get their hands on a PVM or CRT or some other type of high-end video monitor. The good thing about this page is you're not going to get scalped on prices because most of the people are in the same situation as you, but do understand that as these things age and it does get harder and harder to get one, every year the price on these monitors is going to continue to increase because the demand is going to go up, at least for the time being, and the supply continues to go down. So just remember that the longer you wait, the more you could potentially end up paying. The first thing you want to do when you get on that subreddit is just scroll down there and check if there's any in your area that are for sale. Kind of be open. If you're more open, it's going to help more on what you're looking for. Uh, what I mean by that is don't be just like, I've got to get this BBM D24 only and I only want to pay, you know, 500 bucks for it because it's probably not going to happen. But if you're open to like looking and saying, hey, I, I'm open to any PVM that might be near me right now that's on a good deal, I want to get my feet wet in the PVM market, let's go ahead and get one. That's a great place to start. If you cannot find one there, you can definitely post to that subreddit and say, hey, I didn't find any for sale in my area. Does anybody have one near me that they're willing to sell? And a lot of times there are people that don't even have anything currently listed that might come back and help you. The number two, eBay. Of course, everybody knows about eBay, so let's talk about that a little bit. eBay is probably the easiest place to get a PVM right now because you can just go on there with one click, pretty much buy one and have it shipped to you. However, that is most likely the most expensive place you're going to buy a PVM from. And let's talk about why. First off, you have to understand that sellers on eBay are almost losing 20% to fees, shipping fees, handling stuff currency exchange, whatever it is, PayPal, everything combines to almost 20% of a sale on eBay. It doesn't matter what you're selling. It could be an item that's a, a dollar or something that's a thousand dollars. So when you're buying a PVM or something that's high value on the site like eBay, the sellers automatically lose it almost 20% of what you're paying just to eBay and just to be able to sell it on their site. What are the good things for you on eBay? Well, even though you're paying that higher price, you are guaranteed something. You're guaranteed that you're going to get what you want and you don't have to worry about it. Because with eBay guarantee, you can practically do get your PVM. If there's any problems with it at all, you're guaranteed a refund. That's really, really good. And one of the reasons I feel like people will still continue to buy PVMs forever off eBay and continue to pay higher prices on there because they do get that guarantee. However, keep an eye on eBay because if one comes for sale locally, you may get an opportunity to get a good deal on something if you don't have to pay for the extra shipping. Of course, there's also the buy it now option and if there's something that's for sale, you can always send a message to the seller and see if they're willing to work with you in any way on the price. Alright, so the third way you might want to try to get a monitor is from somebody like me at RetroTech. 
I have a Patreon page, and there's going to be a link to that below. Now, look, understand, you don't even have to be a Patreon member to go, or a patron on that page to go to Patreon and check out a lot of my content. I release a lot of it to anybody who wants to go to that page and look at it, including listings of current PVMs I have for sale. Now, as of the filming of this video, a lot of the PVMs I've been working on are currently spoken for, so I have to use that Patreon system to get basically a line backed up so I know when people really want a PVM and we can set things up. And that way you're getting a trusted source for your electronics or PVM. At the Retro Tech Patreon, we also do things like repairs and trade-ins. So I do have clients that are local or come see me locally here in Tennessee. And if they are looking for a PVM and they have items that are vintage and worth some money, I can give them help with some trade-in value on some of those items to help with alleviating the cost of the PVM. Please just go check out the Patreon page for all the details. On to number four. That is going to be all the other sales sites online. So we've got Craigslist, and uh, you can constantly check Craigslist for CRTs, PVMs, high-end Sony CRTs, uh, Ikigami monitors, anything like that, Panasonic, JVCs, all those brands make high-end video monitors from CRTs. And you just need to go on the Craigslist and always be checking on there regularly, see if anything shows up. Uh, another site is Facebook. If you go on Facebook, go specifically to the Sony PVM and BVM monitor uh, pros group. I'm actually an admin there. So go to that group if you're not already a member and you can communicate with people in there and tell them if you're looking for something, they can sometimes help connect you. There are occasionally sales that go up on there. Not as often as Reddit, but it is a place to also look for a high-end CRT. We've also got other sales apps, any kind of sales app, offer up. You can constantly be looking on those. Now that's not going to come up very often that there's going to be something on there, but you never know. So just make sure you're constantly looking at those sales groups if you can't find anything on the Reddit, or if you don't want to do anything through eBay, or if you can't find anything available through the Patreon, and then the Facebook group can't help you, just keep consistently checking those other sales sites, and maybe one will come up and you'll get lucky and get a great deal. Okay, so that brings me to my fifth and final tip and place to go get your CRT, and that is my favorite place, it's the salvage yards. And what I mean by salvage yards, this could be any kind of recycler in your area, you need to go and see if anybody, call around and find a business in your area that might recycle medical supplies, or if you're in a movie production area like California, you can see if anybody recycles old movie uh, equipment. Anything like that, production studios, sometimes things from old news studios ends up in recyclers. But anything like that, you call them and ask them if they ever come across CRTs. Be very vague, say CRTs. Tell them if they have them, you're interested in a lot of them, and they might put together a pallet for you. And you can generally get those for a much better deal than you can anywhere else. But be warned, the condition is unknown to these. A lot of times they don't work fully. Not, I mean, very rarely do you get one that's just perfect right off a pallet. A lot of times they'll need a lot of adjustments, they'll need a lot of parts maybe replaced like capacitors and other things, and may have other issues due to the fact that they were recycled and not intended to be resold. Another part of the Recycler Salvage group would be considered government auction sites. So guys, just remember, you've got to be consistent and you've got to keep doing your homework if you want to get the best deal on a PVM. Or you can just bite the bullet, go online, find a good retailer and get you one there. But either way, make sure that whoever you buy one from, you do your job of communicating with them. Don't assume they're going to do the right thing when it comes to packing and shipping. Don't assume that there's not something wrong with the PVM. Just ask a lot of questions about the condition, try to get as much information up front that's available, and remember the more information you get, the better condition, that might mean the better price, but it's better than paying a little bit less for something that's been a very vague, vaguely described to you that ends up having a buttload of issues and costing you more money than if you just bought the one that was in good condition in the first place. Lastly, I just want to say super thank you to everybody who's jumped on board and subscribed to this point to Retro Tech and been watching the content, especially all the people that have joined the Patreon account. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And everybody, please have a wonderful and happy Christmas. I'm Steve, and thank you again for letting me bring you this content. Have a great day, and look for more stuff in 2019.